Hello， 大家好，我系 Margaret 啊。How is everybody doing? OK 嘛？<笑> Um, 我一路都會陸續去 upload 啲 video 分享、uh, 我自己嘅 home practice， 我我做啲咩會令到我自己平衡 ，or balance out，or de-stress、um,。不過亦都想同大家分享話，譬如你淨係想睇都唔緊要嘅， right, 甚至乎你唔做都 OK 嘅，因為我自己分享我嘅 yoga 咧，其實係嗰、那個係我嘅平衡啊，即係點樣令到我去減壓啊？咁譬如我嘅 yoga 可能係你嘅。唱歌，或者你嘅画画，或者你嘅煮饭 ，right？ So I just want to share with you what really balances me out. You know,、um, not just in this certain special circumstance, but overall, you know. But don't ever feel like you're pressured to have to do something. You know, just because someone does this to de-stress, it may not work for you. Right? So you know, more than welcome just to watch. Hoi, just jing ai tai. You know, if it If you feel awesome, do it. You know, go ahead. I love yoga, right? But if it doesn't really serve you, say you only jojo hago. I don't really like it. Then it's okay. Find something that works for you, right?、Um, coloring, singing, cooking, baking. Say one, 其他啲帮你自己平衡 And you know, when you do those things, it's for yourself. You know, it's for your、uh, own peace of mind and betterment to de-stress the body and connect back to yourself. You know, like 你最緊要做緊嗰啲幾樣嘢嘅時候咧，係真係為自己嘅，即係可能真係五分鐘、十分鐘自己去畫畫，我或者你沖緊涼嘅時候沖耐少少，唱大聲啲嘅歌 ，you know， 即係揾嗰樣嘢咯。So that's what's most important. You know, it's not about completing a full yoga practice. It's not about um uh doing certain things that that might people might expect to help you de-stress. You know, because yoga might not help you de-stress. You never know; it might stress you out, right? So find that. You know, play around with it. If you're not sure what I'm doing, you can find out what I'm doing. 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 Um, 嘗試下新嘅嘢 ，right yoga、Pilates 啊、唱歌啊 ，right。不過我覺得一樣嘢就一定係幫到你咧，就係深呼吸。You know the breath is undeniably. I'll say it now, like it will distress you. you. Just close your eyes in a very calm state, right? And just take a deep breath through in through the nose and out through the nose at least maybe three to five times, and that will definitely kind of just bring your body down a little bit for you and balance it out. Okay, so that's just what I want to share with you.、Uh, so hopefully you can find that 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 one thing that will help you balance your body. Okay, be happy, be healthy. Take a deep inhale through the nose, and exhale through the nose. Big old cup, hey. Big old full, hey. Join your hands into your heart center. So, so, by some, hold on, down. Really feel both hands even in weight, so they're gently touching all five fingertips in the center of the palm. Right, 双手合埋个时候咧，双手个力量系一模一样嘅。Right, 每个五个手指钉垫住，手腕垫住，放松膊头。Open clasp together with three ohms. Take a deep inhale. Oh. Inhale. Oh. Inhale. Relax your hands onto the knees. Fold that shoulder. Good, and slowly open your eyes. Ma, 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 that shoulder. Okay, let's begin. Okay, so let's come straight into a downward dog. How goes it? Yeah, fingers are spread out wide, toes are tucked. Yeah, and lift up into your down dog. So the go step is not very cooked, actually, right? If your spine again modifications, if it's quite tight in your spine and you're quite hunched, bend the knees and work on lengthening your back. And your hips all the way back towards the wall. 
Then when you're ready, the heels will come down. Take your time, right? So, 唔好急自己，唔好催自己。誒，最緊要係伸展條腰，繼續透氣。Make sure the breath is still moving. Good. Look forward. Step your right leg and then the left leg forward. 右腳搭前，左腳搭前。Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale and fold. Good. Inhale, your arms up. 雙手向天，吸氣，我高下趴。Exhale, hands into your heart. 呼氣，雙手擺心口中間。嘅個視線一路都係望向下少少嘅。Right, so just look down a little bit with your drishti. Yeah, make sure the core is strong. Yeah, and we're gonna do three Surya Namaskar A's. 我哋做三個拜日式 A， 誒，跟住之後做一個 B， 但會慢少少嘅。Okay, so let's take the sequence. Yeah, inhale, arms up. Exhale, dive down. Halfway lift. Step back, modification, eight point pose or chaturanga. Inhale up, exhale down. Five breaths. We go full cup. Core is pulled in, fingers are spread out wide. Good. If you're familiar with the Ujjayi breathing, or your Ujjayi breath, constricting the glottis, making kind of like a Darth Vader sound with the breath. Good. 睇翻大家記得儘量即係用個鼻哥透氣。Okay. 吸氣，呼氣 ，good。下一個呼氣，曲膝頭哥。Next exhale, bend the knees, look forward, and just walk. Right leg, then left leg forward to a halfway lift. Exhale and fold. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, samasthiti hi. Release the hands. Number two. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, dive. Halfway lift. Good. Step or jump back. Chaturanga. Inhale up. Exhale down. Five breaths. One. Inhale. Exhale. Two. Inhale. Exhale. Three. Inhale. Exhale. Four. Inhale. Next. Exhale. Bend the knees. On your inhale, jump forward. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, samasthiti hi. Number three. Inhale. Exhale. Listen to the breath. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. So taking five breaths here. Remember to keep your lower abdomen pulled in. Udiyana Bandha pulled in and up. Shoulders are moving away from the ear. So both how get them also focus on both how gentle reminders. Yeah, press the heels down. Find some fluidity in the breath a little bit more. Yeah, so breathe in and out, in and out. Good. Next, exhale. Bend the knees. Look forward. Inhale. Hop forward. Halfway lift. Exhale and fold. Inhale. Arms up. Swing the arms up. Exhale. Samasthiti hi. Okay. Let's do slow Surya Namaskar B. Yeah, so take a moment, bend the knees, yeah, and just bring your elbows onto your knees. Yeah, take a moment here. Yeah, my head is chopped off. Jump back. <laughs> yeah, so like a sawizana, talk to your shoulder, go, cock shoulder, go, chow day. So just going a little bit deep into the hips, really feeling your knees squeeze together. Shoulder go, tie my. Yeah, now keep feel the hips. The hips are hung higher. They're shooting back. And now just graze your fingertips on the mat. So just so so a day. Good. Squeeze the knees together. Good. Just get your shoulder up. Finding stillness. Chin away from the chest. Good. Hold here. Now reach forward with the hands. Your hands are reaching forward. And see the back is is trying to be flat, right? So you find it curled over. Come up a little bit and lengthen. Lengthen. If you can, sit all the way deep. Hold for five. Four. Three. Reach back with the hips. Reach forward with the hands. And one. Fold forward. Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale and fold. One more time. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bend your knees. Sit deep. Now your hands are already on the ground, right? Keep them there. Good. And lengthen your spine. When you're ready, hands go forward. Hold here. Pull the belly in. Sit deep with the hips. Inhale. Arms go higher. Peel the chest away from the thighs. Hold here. Eyes are looking forward. Yeah, you can sit a little bit deeper. Yeah, but reach your hands up to the sky. Feel the arch in the mid spine. Hold for five. Sit deeper. Four, three, 
two, and fold forward, Uttanasana. Halfway lift, get stepped back in the plank position. Hold here. Pull the belly in, push the groin away from the chest. Anytime, uh, okay, you can bring the knees down anytime you want. Holding for five more breaths. Legs are strong. Come to the tips of the toes, guys. Good. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, press up. Exhale, down dog, press back. Hold here. Good. When you're ready, take a look at my left foot. Bring the heel down. Good. And step your right leg forward into warrior one. Hold here. Good. So traditionally, palms are together. And dress the up. Hold here. So really bend the right knee. Okay, and make sure you see like a 90 degree angle with that knee and look up. Feel the back leg grounded onto the mat. Sit deeper for five, four, three. Sides of the body are long, two and one. This time open the hands up and lean forward, exactly what we did before. Bring your right rib cage on top of the right thigh. Lean forward and hold. Good. Now from here, take a look at my back leg. Rotate it up, coming into low lunge. Sit deeper for five. Hands are strong. Four, three, two, and one. Hands down, step back into plank. Four more breaths. Legs are strong. Face is relaxed. <laughs> and exhale, chaturanga. Inhale up. Exhale down. Okay, now going to the left side, bring the right heel in, setting up for warrior one. Step forward, take a moment, balance the legs, and then the arms go up. Get palms together. Dress the up, holding here. Really engage that back leg. Okay, so there's not much of a back bend here. Lim with the king the thai hao ge. Right, let's have dick sang, si sing dick mong. Hold your little. Foot bow sound gun, cock dai do siu siu. So go sat up, go Holding for five, four, three, core in, two, and one. Look forward, mong ti. Fun hoi go sao. So hands are like at number 11. Ready, inhale, exhale, lean forward. Hello, rib cage, hello, thigh. Once you got that connection, rotate the back leg up. Reach forward in low lunge for five, four, belly in, reach for the hand, three, two, and one. Plank position, step back. Five breaths here. Last two, core in, legs strong. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale up. Exhale down. Five breaths here. We'll go full cup. So the breath is kind of like fueling your body. Yeah, you're really challenging the body with different movements, but really to get that energy going through the engine of the body, you've got to breathe. Deep breathing. Look forward, bend the knees. When you're ready, inhale, jump. Halfway lift. Exhale and fold. Good. Bend the knees, sit deep. Again, fingers are on the ground. Come in as if you're in a halfway lift. Good. And lengthen. Good. Reach your hands forward. Hold here. Take a moment and go. Wha Open up. Ukatasana. Hold here for five. Four. Open the chest. Three. Chest forward. Heart lifts a little bit more. So this part goes forward and up. Two and one. Samastitihi. Okay, take a moment here, find your breath. Okay, inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Come into the sequence. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bend the knees. Inhale, arms up. Ukutasana, hold. Come, bring your hands into your chest, coming into just a gentle twist. Right elbow to the outside of the knee. Okay, and twist the body open, twist it open. Yeah, so notice that you want to squeeze the knees together. So the guts get like So turn the right hip back a little bit. Keep twisting. Keep breathing for five, four, 
three, two, and one. Look down to the ground, take a moment. Shift your weight over to the left foot. Okay, lift your right heel. Step back, find your balance. Ping hand Okay, back like super engaged, guys. Okay, when you're ready, twist open and look up for five, four, three, two, and one. Look down to the ground. Step your right leg forward. Come back into the twist. And inhale, come back into Uttanasana. Inhale, exhale, dive down. Uttanasana. Take a moment, relax the head, connect back to the breath. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bend the knees. Inhale, lengthen. Good. Exhale, sit a little bit deeper. And inhale, arms up. Utkatasana. Hold here. Hands into the heart. Let's switch other side. Left elbow, right knee. Get the twist. When you're ready, lengthen. Inhale. Exhale. Really rotate the back. Okay, noticing the left hip might slide forward, right? So see if you can pull it back a little bit more. Keep twisting the chest. Hold for five, four, three, two. Look down, lift the left heel. Take a moment, balance, step back. Back leg super strong, super strong. Keep twisting, hold for five, four, three. Back leg stronger, guys, two. And one, look down, good, step forward. And when you're ready, inhale, Uttanasana. Ah. Exhale, Uttanasana, dive down. Ah. Inhale, halfway lift. Step back into a plank position and, and hold. Legs are strong. Breath is moving. Good. A little bit different now. Inhale. Exhale, Chaturanga. Good. Inhale up. And I want you to hold the up dog. So bring your knees down for a second. Good. And just open the chest. Work on pushing the hands down and the heart is opening up and back. So shining forward and up. Good, tuck your toes. Now lift your knees up. Good, so hover the knees off the mat. Good, lift your chest up to the sky. Oh, really enjoy this. Oh. Relax the belly just a little bit here, but push the hands down, open the chest. Good, exhale, down dog. Five long deep breaths. Okay, inhale, come to a plank position. Okay, pull the core in. Okay, now we're gonna bring the elbows down. Interlace your fingers if you want, but keep the body hovering. Good, hips are low, hold here. Push the ground away with the elbows. Okay, now flip over to the outside of the right foot. Good, and bring your left hand to your hip. Draw us outside you. Good, pull the core in. So this is working the shoulder stability. <laughs> Hold here. Okay, come back to center and switch sides. Yeah. Find your balance and hold. Yeah, so look at my shoulders, don't shrug. Push away, push away, good. Five, core is pulled in, legs are squeezing together. Come back to low plank, push up into plank, and downward facing dog. Your feet together. Uh, inhale the right leg up. You're gonna keep your right leg straight, open the hip up if you want. You're gonna take a moment, reach, push, reach, push. Good. And then step forward. Okay, bring your back knee down, hands on your knees. Take a moment just to sit deep. Really feel the stretch. Coming back into that lunge, holding here. Good. If you can notice my back leg, it's still pointing. How means like boy by the haga. Okay? So we really want to work the inner uh, inner spiraling of the legs. Okay? So I feel like so you want to drop down this way. But what we want to focus more on is inner spiral, rotating thighs in towards each other. Okay? So bring your hands on your knees, back foot down. 
So if you need to, you can bring your elbow down. You can hold your shoulder up, hold your shoulder up, hold your shoulder up. You want to lift the back knee up. Hold your shoulder up, top of the foot. Good, pull the belly in, hold here. Good. If you can, bring your hands up to your hips, sit deeper, back leg strong. Good. If you can, arms up, hold for five, four, inner spiral, three, inner spiral, two, and one. Bring the knee down, hands down. Good. When your hands are down, your knees are inside of the arm. Lift the back knee up, lift your hips higher, and then really walk the right foot down and hold for five, four, three, two, and one, down dog. If you want a quick vinyasa or staying down dog, hold your vinyasa or hold your hug, I'll sit with that. And remember, any time you need to, come into a child's pose, okay? And I'm moving over towards the left side, left leg up. And really feel your reaching. Good. So remember a tip for you to step forward is to lift the back, a bottom heel up, right, and then step forward. And it's actually much easier, more height, yeah? Again, hands on your knees, sit deeper. Mm, feel the sword stretch. Such a nice stretch for the hips. Hold here. Okay, so hands stay on the knees. Keep the back foot down. So how we go get boy by the huh? Inhale, come up and hold. Inner spiral that thigh. Get it, chest is up. If you can, hands onto your hips. Take a moment, mm, engage the leg. Reconnect, inner spiral. When you're ready, arms up, hold for five, four, three. Reach up with the hands. Don't forget the energy of the hands and the breath. Two, and one, knee down, hands down. Set up, good, and with the knee, hold for five, four, three, two, and one, downward dog. Press back. A few breaths here. Good. And vinyasa. Everybody, inhale plank. Exhale chaturanga. Inhale up. Exhale down. Good. Bend your knees. Look forward. And walk halfway up the mat. Feet together. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, hands into the heart. Hold here. Take a moment, reconnect to the breath. Good. Oh, so sweaty. <laughs> hands into the hips. Okay, so come into a balancing. So bend your right leg up and hold. Okay, so we're going to come into Ittita Hasta Padangusasana. Yeah, so still your eyes. Bring your right hand to your knee. Find your balance. Okay, yeah, and when you're ready, turn your right foot out to the right. Hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Come back to center and then release. Other side. Lift up. This is like my daughter's physiotherapy mat. Hand on the knee. It's really thick, so it's actually harder to balance, yeah? Pull up. More reason to work harder. <laughs> Three, good. Now pull up to the right. Find your still dressy for four. Three, two, and one. Come back and release. Okay, let's come into the full pose. I'm gonna face you straight on. Yeah, but you can still face it as long as you have room to the left and right. Get joy on how and yell white fella. Okay? Get standing still, get hands into your hips. Lift your right leg up and hold. modification. So you can come back to that modification where your hand is on your knee and opening it up. Get if you want to do full pose, you can either hook your big toe with your index, middle finger, and thumb, or I like to hold the foot and kind of hook my thumb in between my last toe. So do whatever feels good for you to get a good grip. Good. Now stand up straight. Good. And extend the leg forward. Hold here. When you're ready, open it up. For five, four, three, two, and one. Come back to center. 
Good. If your knees bent, keep it bent. Good. If your leg is straight, release and point forward. So you can bend the knee if you need to for five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly release. Samastiti hi. Good. And other side. Hands onto your hips. So that's how you. Sixteen, I'll go. So the sixteen, how strong you? Make sure the wrist is still, right? Because once you look to a direction, the body just subconsciously follows it a little bit. So make sure your eyes are still. Okay, lift your left foot up. Balance. Good. Hand on the knee. Or if you can, get a grip of the foot. Stand up straight. When you're ready, extend the foot forward and open it up. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it forward and, and release. Point the toe for five, four, whoa, three, two, and one. Slowly release. I got it. Saved it. <laughs> Feet together. Good. So that's a great balancing pose. Now we're going to come into the twisted version. Okay? So twisted version. I'll do it from this side. Good. Bring your right foot up. Yeah, so you can hold the knee, or you can extend the leg. Okay, so opposite hand. You can hold the knee, or you can extend the leg. Okay, so opposite hand. You can hold the knee, or you can extend the leg. Okay, so opposite hand. You can hold the knee, or you can extend the leg. Okay, so opposite hand. You can hold the knee, or you can extend the leg. Okay, so opposite hand. You can hold the knee, or you can extend the leg. Okay, so opposite hand. You can hold the knee, or you can extend the leg. Okay, so opposite hand. You can hold the knee, or you can extend the leg. Okay, so opposite hand. Good. Jaw set up. Go lay high. Left leg up. Hold the knee or a little foot. You can grab the foot if you want. Holding here. Good. Twist the body. Woo! Let's try that again. Good. Keep holding for five, four, three, two. And one, come back to center, and release down. Yeah, let's come back down to the mat. Feet together. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, dive down. Inhale, halfway lift. Step back into the plank. Vinyasa. Up dog. Exhale, down dog. Ah. Find your breath. And now lift your chin up, bring your knees down, and let's come into a seated position. Ah, take a moment. Yeah, extend your legs straight and coming into a forward bend. Yeah, so lean forward, touch your toes. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale and fold forward. Good. Yeah, if you're unable to touch your toes, it's okay. You can just bend your knees. Good, and just hold them from there. Right. Most importantly is to straighten your spine. So it's, that's what we want to feel. That deep stretch into the back. Good. And then your hamstrings are actually much easier to open than your back muscles. So slowly and give yourself a bit of patience. Okay. Inhale. Exhale. Fold forward. Holding for three, two, and one. Inhale. Halfway lift. Exhale and release. Okay. We're going to come into a pigeon pose. Um, actually, I'm going to do double pigeon. All right. So if you can see, you want to. Let's say I'm going to face you. Right, your left leg, your calf bone, is actually parallel to the top of your mat. Okay, then you bring the right ankle on top of the left knee. Right, so you keep both legs flexed and then lift your chin up. Good. If you find that the knee is coming really high up, take a block, put it underneath your knee. Right, and just take your time. Right, just stay seated. Right, 有啲人坐喺度已經覺得啊，嗰個 hip 同埋嗰個啊後邊嗰個 pair is 好緊噶啦已經。Right, so 記得。唔使夾眼嘅，最緊係感受到有個伸展咧，就喺度唞氣。OK， 誒、uh, 記得要保護自己個膝頭哥 ，right？ 兩隻腳係 flex 嘅 ，right？ So to protect your、uh, knees， you want to make sure that you're flexing your toes。OK， inhale， exhale， lean forward a little bit if you can。Again， if you can， come all the way down， drop your head。Yet again， going forward is not very important。The most important thing is that you're actually opening your body up。You're really Really, you know, stretching that piriformis. That you know, I've said it so many times. It's one of the、um, main reasons sometimes people get sciatica, right? It's the tightness of the piriformis. So really taking the stretch 
just seated, gentle tilt forward, anything. You know, just really feel that stretch. Okay, let's switch sides. Lean back, switch your legs. <clears throat> Get very important, try to keep those legs flexed, okay? Inhale, lengthen, exhale, and then go forward. Again, if you're here, just make sure if the knee is up high, just sit up straight, hold the knee for support if you need to, find your breath, you know, really, I, you know, people don't really uh, believe me when I say I was so tight when I started doing yoga. I had a, an injury in my, with my back and my hips, my, my back, my, my hamstrings, my neck, <laughs> everything was so tight. So I have been practicing for a while now, but it, all it needs is just, you know, patience, you know, being humble through your practice, you know, not expecting a huge change in a short amount of time. Just be consistent and practice with sincerity and it'll come, okay? Inhale, come back up and exhale, release. Bring your knees together, give yourself a hug. Good. And let's come down to a lying down position from that. So feet are as wide as the mats. Good. And your hands are just by the sides of the body. So we're just lying in Shavasana. You know, you really just kind of want to relax your body for a moment here. Yeah, we're just going to come into a gentle bridge pose. You want to bend the knees, soles of the feet on the mat. Good. So if you have a block, you're more than welcome to put it underneath your hips. But otherwise, lift your hips up and walk your shoulder blades together. Okay, so you can have your block underneath your lower back, or actually more the sacrum area. Yeah, and then you can have it just for support. You can just stay here and hold, hold the pose. Yeah, so I want you to imagine that there's a block in between your knees and you're squeezing the block together. Okay, so don't feel like your knees are splaying out. Hold your middle. Five, four, three, hips higher, two, and one, relax down. Bring the soles of the feet together and knees apart. Good. And bring your arms above your head, hold your elbows. Supta Bhadakanasana. Right, you're more than welcome to close your eyes now. And just breathe and listen to my instruction. And try to relax the knees, fold so Okay. So when you're holding your elbows, just relax your elbows a little bit. Let the body melt down. Keep your eyes closed. Okay, slowly bring your knees back together. You can support them with your hands or just bring them together. And, and drop your knees towards the right, coming into a gentle twist. Okay, your left hand can come into an L shape. Turn your head towards the left, coming into a gentle supine twist. Keeping your eyes closed. Okay, coming back to center, switch sides. Okay, come back to center. Okay, come into Shavasana. Just realign the body one more time. Bring your left hand on your belly good, and bring your right hand onto your chest. Relax your hands. Good, it's okay if the right hand slides over so your elbows resting onto the mat. Anything that feels good. Now I want you to start breathing in towards your left hand more. So you got like a full color, how you ponder with hold our system. So coming into a deep belly breath. Okay, stay here. Keep your eyes closed and focusing on really lifting that left hand, engaging the focus more on the expansion of the belly now. We're focused so much, you know, earlier on pulling the lower abdomen in, engaging the core. So now we're really feeling that release in towards the belly. Now 
Now release the hands to the sides of the body. Now totally release the breath. Let's bring, bring your breath, breath back into a very neutral position. Right, so it's very subconscious breath. You're just inhaling and exhaling, no control. So you got a full color. Right? I'm so you what that you cup dodi or full dodi you got whole jean gamma tau hai. Again, surrendering your body weight down to the mat, let it hold you, let it support you. Feel the channels of the body opening up and feeling that new breath, that new energy coming into the body and filling those areas. We've moved the, bodies, the body in different directions, opened it, strengthened it, stretched it. Okay, so now it's time for it just to rest and let it absorb the benefits of class. Absorb inside the body. Please stay in Shavasana longer. Good. And I will just gently chant one om to close the practice. Okay. But then after that, you're more than welcome to stay as long as you want. Thank you for having me guide you through your practice today. Namaste.